Welcome back to the channel, Control Freaks. Today we are going to be controlling our opponent's life total with mono black rats. That's right. This is a deck list that I got from one of my amazing Discord members, Nedermunzio. Shout out to them. Um, if you would like to see me play your decks on stream and on on. YouTube, make sure to join the Discord. That link will be in the description below. But never mind all that. Let's take a look and see what this deck is all about. First off, we're playing 21 lands, three Castle Lot Wings, one Karn's Bastion, because Proliferate uh, is, could be important in this deck. We do have some backdoor ways to win with Infect. So we are playing a Karn's Bastion. We're playing three Mutant Faults. Several swamps, you can count those if you want. <laughs> Urborg, the Tomb of Yawgmoth. And then let's get into all of our spells and creatures. We have four Typhoid Rats. Four Typhoid Rats. Death Touch 1-1 one, one for a 1. Uh, one black, rather. Uh, we have Anoint with Affliction, if you don't know what this is. This is kind of legit. So it's a 2-mana instant from Phyrexia. All will be on Exile Target Creature if... If it has mana value 3 or less, or it has corrupted, exile that creature instead if its controller has 3 or more poison counters. So it just becomes straight up exile anything if your opponent is corrupted. Next up, we've got Blight Belly Rat. This is a rat, Phyrexian rat, with Toxic 1. When it dies, you get to proliferate, so it's got some way to poison counters and proliferate when it dies we've got four of those and then we've got uh burglar rat when it enters the battlefield each opponent discards a card two mana one one then we've got two drown and icker two drown and icker and it's a two mana target creature gets minus four minus four until end of turn proliferate so a lot of proliferation in this deck We've got Pack Rat. Of course, we're playing rats. we got to play Pack Rat, right? The best rat that ever ratted, <laughs> of course. Uh, if you're not aware, though, Pack Rat's power and toughness are equal to the number of rats you control, and you can pay three mana, discard a card, and you can create a token that is a copy of Pack Rat, an exact copy of Pack Rat. These things get out of hand pretty quickly, and, uh, well, this card just dominated a standard season, so very, very good. Next up, we have three Rancid Rats. This is a Zombie Rat, a 1-1 one, one with Skulk and Death Touch. And then we have three Shieldreds Edicts. Next up, the whole reason we're playing the deck. Chiromonix, the Rat King, legendary creature Phyrexian Rat, has Toxic 1. Other rats you control have Toxic 1. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library you may reveal any number of rat cards from among them. Put the revealed cards into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. I'll bring it to the front so you can see it. It was on the thumbnail. This card is really sick. It is basically like a ringleader for rats. And then we have three Liliana the Veil. You, of course, probably know what that does. One of the best Planeswalkers ever. And uh, definitely... A Nice inclusion here. We do have two Phyrexian Obliterators because, of course, why not? This card is a house against other creature-based decks. Not very good against control, but still very good. And then last up, we do have Vraska, Betrayal Sting, the brand new Planeswalker from Phyrexia. All will be one. It is completed, so we can play it a turn early. For the zero, you draw a card, lose one life, and proliferate, which, again, can come up because we do have a lot of toxic cards in this deck. Minus two, target creature becomes a treasure, loses all other abilities. And then minus nine, if, a tar if target player has fewer than nine poison counters, they get basically the difference. So it gives them nine poison counters, essentially. Up to nine poison counters. And then in the sideboard, let's take a look. We have Thoughtseize against mid-range... Combo, Control, Thoughtseize is just like the best card in the format almost. <laughs> um, then we have our fourth Shieldred's Edict, of course, nice piece of removal. Then we have Offer Immortality against any decks that want to Wrath our board, like, say, Control. 
Uh, we have Ley Line of the Void for any graveyard-based decks. We got four of those because we want to draw them in our opening hand, of course. We've got Crippling Fear. Might not know what this is, but choose a creature type. Creatures that aren't of that type get minus three, minus three until end of turn. So this is going to come in against humans, elves, and other tribal decks, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, very good piece of tech here. Uh, and then, of course, Gary, we got Grey Merchant of Asphodel uh, to, for the grindy matchups. Yeah, so that's the deck list. Guys, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, of course, make sure to like it. Comment down below any changes we can make. This is obviously a bit of a brewski. Um, I'm very interested in trying to make this deck better. Uh, so if you see anything that uh, is a glaring, uh, you know, anything glaring that's missing, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any constructive criticism about my gameplay, of course, leave it down below. Don't be a jabroni, though. And, of course, subscribe. All right. Let's battle. Let us battle. Round one, fight! Stay hydrated out there, folks. All right, here we go. We've got a match. All right, we've got a bunch of Blight Bellies. Oh, and we got a Karumanix. I think we'll keep this. We'll start with Burglar. We got double burglar. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> All right, pass back. I don't know which is better here, though. Do we Liliana or Karumanix on three? All right, so red, blue. This could be many things. <laughs> Is it Phoenix? We might be helping him here if this is Phoenix. Let's see. Just an island. Just an island. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. All right, there's a consider. So I guess they might not have the Phoenix yet. Treasure cruise. All right. Chart, of course. Okay. So I think this is Phoenix. There is the Phoenix. They did find it. All right, well, I think that uh, first we are going to attack. All right, let's pick up. Oh, only one rat. Rats. All right. They have pieces of the puzzle. Yep. So I think in our sideboard for this matchup, Leyline of the Void obviously would be pretty decent. Edicts. I want to play this. And I would like to play a pack rat. We will move to combat. We will attack. And they have two poison. They're almost corrupted, so this anoint with affliction is going to be pretty good. All right. 
So the fiery impulse are Karumanics. Treasure Cruise, pretty decent. That's two spells. Are they going to be able to race this? So we have this Anoint with Fliction. And they're almost corrupted. I assume they have the third spell. They have eight cards in hand, so... Yep, there's a Consider. Hopefully they don't discard another Arclight Phoenix. Um... If we draw a land, though, we could anoint with Affliction and Liliana. All right, bird. Just one bird. I assume this bird is going to come in and attack us. We shall see, though. And it is. It is not. All right, so that means we just get to Liliana. They will move to discard. Let's see if they have a spell pierce. That would be pretty good for them. Excellent. You will discard, or you will sacrifice. All right. Now we'll get uh, get them corrupted. Unless they have a removal spell for the Blight Belly. Lava Axe. Is that what this is going to be? Yep. All right. So they are not corrupted. Ah, oh, they are. All right, they are corrupted, which is good. We will attack for three, get them to ten. All right. So we proliferated. There's an opt. But we proliferated uh, here and on their poison counters. Galvanic Iteration, not great. Gross. So they're going to Fiery Impulse. And they're going to kill both of our poor defenseless rats. And that means they will get Arclight Phoenix back. Unfortunately, we did not draw that. Yep. And Ottawara. So first things first. And we will play a burglar rat. Temporal trespass is what they discarded. Do they have another one? Pieces, okay. You know, a card that I think might be good in here is, uh, oh shoot, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the name, but it's blue, blue, or I'm sorry, black, black, you lose two life, draw two cards. Forget the name of it. You know what card I'm talking about. You. All right. They did not have the ability to get the Arclight Phoenix. We'll play this. We'll play this. 
We'll fire this up. We will attack. And we will pass back. They're at seven. We're at 20. Do they have what it takes? Pieces. That'll be a good tool for them. Five cards revealed. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So I think they take pieces in Spike Field. Spike Field's going to take down our Skulker. And they got the Ops. So now we're going to be seeing one, two... Two birds. Two birds back from the dead. And they will attack. Taking six. We crack back for a theoretical four here. All right, move to combat. Do we have what it takes to close this one out? This is four, so we have them on a one-turn clock. They have the fire impulse. That is unfortunate. They'll take two, go to five. So if we f uh, find a Chiromonix, we win, assuming no interaction. Oh, I guess that's not right, right? Yeah, that's not right. It, it's not a lord. I keep thinking it's a lord. Pieces, yep. One, two, three, four, five. So galvanic iteration, consider spell pierce. Consider and galvanic iteration are their choices. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. So we take six, nine. That definitely changes the complexion of the game a lot. <laughs> well... Galvatic iteration. <laughs> Consider times two, yep. All right, well, they're looking for another bird so they can just kill us. Hopefully they don't bin, bin it. That'd be, we would obviously be dead. All right, what you got? Ledger Shredder. Well, we're pretty dead already, I think. Go to two. I don't think there's any draw that gets us out of this, unfortunately. If this had... Yeah, I still wouldn't even do it, would it? I still wouldn't do it. I guess we just attack. Send them a message. And then we'll go to game two. All right. We'll scoop from there. All right, let's see. I think Thoughtseize is good. I think Shieldred's Edict is good.
Ley lines, obviously. Top notch. Typhoid rats, not great. Not great. Burglar rat seems kind of not great either. Something like that. We'll try this. We'll try this. All right, game two, we lost game one. It was a barn burner. We won the die roll because we lost. Um, We'll try it. All right. Let's see if we can't find a bird. Well, Brotherhood's End is pretty good against us. All right. I played Spire Bluff. There's a blight belly. Pass back. And, yep. The shredder. Oh my god. I hate I hate Moto sometimes. There's the steam vents. There's an opt. So we misclicked, but hopefully it'll hopefully it'll be fine. We need to start drawing some actual spells though. Lightning axe, sure. Unfortunately we have nothing to proliferate. Well, nothing that we want to proliferate. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a good draw, wasn't it? All right. Pass turn. So we know about Hall, and there's Hall. Another Shredder, all right. That was a good draw.
All right, now we'll battle. And now I think uh, Liliana might be able to take this game over. We do need to draw some actual relevant cards with text on them, but... Go, go, Liliana. <laughs> Ooh, they got a bird. Dang, good draw. Good draw. Well, so much for that plan. Yeah. I spoke too soon. So it's a <laughs> swamp, toxic one, rat. All right, there we go. Opt, sure. Well, we can kind of do the whole pack rat thing. Or you just make a ton of pack rats. It doesn't sound terrible. That might be the play, honestly. Let's see. Ah, oh, Lightning Axe. Yep. Yeah. Well, they're Hellbent, and they got a 3-3. Three, three, or a 3-2, rather. And we're going to have a pack rat, a couple pack rats, because we're going to try and do the pack rat thing. Alright, while they're opting, we're going to create a rat, a pack rat, to be specific. <laughs> hey man, it's like I'm playing uh, <laughs> Standard from 2014. We're discarding Thought Seizes, we got Mutavault on the table, they drew into a consider. They did not like the card they found. All right, they attack with their 3-2. We will not block. All right, now you just start to... Make a rat. And have at the... They've got one card in hand. Hopefully it's not a removal spell. They're at six. We got them on one turn clock here. Do we win game two? Go to game three, opponent. Leyline of the Void. Pretty good against uh, Phoenix, as it turns out. <clears throat> All right, game two goes to us. Power of Pack Rat, baby. All right. We'll resubmit. Gray Merchant would probably be pretty good in this matchup as well. But we're going to run it as is. We're going to run it as is. Uh. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Make sure if you're enjoying the content to like the video. Comment down below what you enjoyed about it, if we can make any changes to the deck list. Um, anyways, I can improve my play as long as you're nice about it. <laughs> That's the internet, though, so say whatever you want, I guess. All right. 
Game number three. We're going to be on the draw, which is going to suck, but hopefully we just have a ley line in. Or maybe we just mulligan a ley line. We got a thought seize double pack rat hand, so this hand's pretty good. And drowning acres pretty decent too. So we'll keep this. We'll keep this. Steam vents. Shock it in. All right. Oh, boo. I don't think we can beat Brotherhood's End. Card's just very good against us. Yep. They're going to get a bird in the bin. They put Spell Pierce there. I'm okay with that. And they missed their land drop. All right, pack rat. They do have an opportunity here. To uh, lightning axe this. Well, they don't now. I guess we just play the second pack, right? Yeah, let's just play the second pack, right? I guess if they they draw a second Brotherhoods in, this is bad. But otherwise, it's just better for us. And hopefully they don't go run or run or lightning axes or, you know, removal spells. All right. We'll attack for two. And then we'll start getting in there. Next turn, there'll be three threes or, yeah. Yeah, lightning axe. Seems decent. We have the drowning anchor, so that's going to proliferate. Or, I'm sorry, that's going to be able to take Arc Light Phoenix if and when they start drawing lands. They kept a one lander, which is super sketch. Um, well, I do believe that another pack rat is better than a Blight Belly rat at this point. So, we'll just make another pack rat and attack. All right, 16. We know that that's not in their hand. How oh, do they not draw it? Oh, my goodness. All right, attack for six. We have... Lethal on board. For a 12, yep. So even if they play Ledger Shredder here, we can still... A Braid. Okay. That's fine. Let's attack for... I mean, do we just do that? They're tapped out. Might as well obliterate them. I 
There we go. Easy claps in chat. We got there with Mono Black Rats beating one of the best decks in the format. <laughs> well, you're not one of the best decks, but a deck, a legitimate deck in the format in Is It Phoenix. Sick. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. We are 1-0 with Mono Black Rats. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. Pack Rat, the power of Pack Rat, baby. This card's nuts. They scooped to an obliterator, but what they really scooped to was, of course, having multiple Pack Rats. Pack Rats. <laughs> Heck yeah, so here's the list. We still haven't even drawn this card. I'd love to draw this card. This card seems sick. All right, we played this in our... Uh, we played Vraska in a Demir control deck. I'm going to be playing some more Demir coming up later this week, too. So if you want to check that out live, head on over to twitch.tv slash Alex. Hit that follow button. Um, am I just, like, keeping every pack rat hand? Is that what I'm doing now? Uh, we don't have a swamp, which is kind of awkward. We'll try and draw it. We're on the draw, so... <laughs> Rivrat. Is our opponent's name. Come on, Swamp. Swamp. Hey. All right. So I think Blight Belly? Oh, is this... I'm going to go Burglar because I think that this might be Lotus Field. And this will tell us a little bit more about their deck, too. Yep, Hope Tender. Okay. They are who we thought they were. So we got another Burglar Rat next turn. So Pack Rat's going to be good in this matchup because it'll be some good pressure. Casting Impulse. Oh, yeah, they don't have to show us with Impulse. Impulse is so good. And here's the Lotus Field turn. Yep, need blue for whatever you're about to do, I'm sure. Could a brother get a Thoughtseize? Oh, wait, wait, I thought we have Thoughtseize in the board, don't we? Yeah. Leyline, Thoughtseize. Hmm. That's probably it. Gray Merchant, maybe? That's what we might be siding in. A boreal grazer. Oh, uh, is this are they gonna put a Okay. Whew. All right. Burglar. No reason to attack. Three blue. Here we go. Vizier, yep. So they need a second Lotus Field, and they get that through the the land. Hmm. 
They have not found it yet. I mean, theoretically, they could win off of one Lotus Field. It's not likely, though. So I think next turn we play Pack Rat and Anoint with Affliction, the uh, Grazer. <clears throat> Opponent. All right. I guess, yeah, let's just play Pack Rat. We'll attack with the Blight Bellies. Go to 18. All right, next turn, they got a chance. Lotus Field, that's not good. So now they can really do it. If they have a hidden strings here, yep. Okay. It's not necessarily over yet, but they only have one card in hand, so. Hopefully that Oh, gosh, it is. I think it is. Draw three, untap two lands. Oh, it's not! All right. There is help. There is hope for us yet. All right, well, we're going on the pack rat plan again. Going on the pack rat plan again. We got them dead next turn if they can't win here. Can they do it? We pressured them early with the the burglar rats discarding hope tender. They discarded hope tender and behold the beyond. If they had behold the beyond in their hand right now, they would have won the game. Just to just to be clear. Oh, uh, do they still have it? They're gonna try for it. Hidden strings. Okay, this is the same thing they did last turn. But did they draw? a way to actually draw some cards. That's the question. Blue, blue, blue. Omniscience. Okay, that doesn't do anything. They Their spells from their hands are free now, but they're dead on the crackback. I think we're taking game one, guys. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, easy class. We take game one from... Uh, this is one of the best decks in the format. Holy smokes, mono black rats. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, Thought Seize. We definitely want Ley Lines. Um, Typhoid Rats, not great. <laughs> not a great card. Um, so that could be Ds. Anoint with Affliction, not great. 
I think that's how we want to run it. Yeah, Rancid Rats also not great. I want to rather have Gray Merchants, I think, than Rancid Rats. We'll run it like that. All right, here we go. Beating Lotus Field combo in game number one. Hopefully we have a, a Ley Line and a Thought Seize. Uh, we have both. We only have one land, though. We're on the draw. We don't have any follow-up, though. That's a problem. We have to pressure them. I think this is a mulligan, unfortunately. We do have Leyline and we do have Thoughtseize. Only have one land and no real follow-ups after that one land. So I think, unfortunately, this is a mulligan. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is correct or not. I just don't think this... Maybe Leyline is just that good? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not keeping this, though. If we go runner, runner lands, we get Liliana, and we're in there like swimwear, but that's too much of a risk, I think, unfortunately. And Drowning Acre is kind of a dead card. It obviously kills... Um, the reason I kept it in is to, you know, a Boreal Grazer is a big wall. But... And it proliferates, so it has some synergy with Liliana, and obviously if we can start poisoning them. <clears throat> Our opponent's in the tank here. Hopefully we get a game. Don't do us like that, opponent. Ah, uh, they lost connection. Well, I'll wait around a little bit, but I need to start looking at a secondary match. Oh, they're back. I just said, you good? Oh, you guys can see it. <laughs> Let's see this. Because we put back. Obliterator. All right, cool. Thespian stage, uh-oh. That's danger. All right, double Thespian stage.
Hmm. I want to start pack ratting them, but I think it's important to just get all the discard we possibly can. Hidden strings, excellent. That's good. Pass back, and the next turn we can Liliana. Another Thespian stage. Holy smokes. Another Thespian stage. That's insane. Four mana. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Thespian stage copying Botanical Sanctum. Okay. Well, we're going to start kind of destroying their hand here. What a weird hand for them. Hmm. What do we want to discard? I guess Drown and Acre. Fresca kind of does the same thing. Hidden strings for them. Pack rat. Let's just keep going up. And then we play a pack rat. We'll discard a pack rat and play a pack rat. Actually, we're going to discard... I think Vraska. We're not anywhere close to playing it. So... And then we can play our second pack rat next turn. They just card pour over pages. That's excellent for us. The card is one of their best cards for sure. They're going to copy another botanical sanctum probably. Oh, impulse, sure. All right. And a second impulse. Yep. Ah, mismatching impulses. <laughs> nice. I like it. And they scoop it up. They can't find Lotus Field. Liliana was tearing up their hand. We had another pack rat in hand. Pack rat equals death. We are 2 and 0. Oh. With mono black rats. <laughs> this deck is sweet. If you're looking for a fun budget deck, I tell you what, there might not be any more fun than this. Uh, if you enjoyed standard back whenever Return to Ravnica was in standard, I tell you what, this is definitely the deck for you because you get to play things like Lilian and the Veil, Pack Rat, Thought Seas, and you have a better Underworld Connections, I think. Uh, Castle Lockwain, definitely very, very good. Um, man, we're doing it, though. <laughs> I love it. 2-0, and oh, baby. Let's go. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to like, comment down below, and, of course, subscribe. Oh, my goodness. All right. One land, typh double typhoid rats. I don't think this is a keep. All right, we can... We can keep and pitch an obliterator. All right. What do we want to do here? We want to start with rancid rat. Unless they play an elf, in which case we will anoint with affliction. Oh. 
Another Phoenix deck, perhaps. All right, pass back. All right, what you got, opponent? They're just taking forever. Hopefully they don't disconnect. Opponent's having some internet issues today. <laughs> We need to draw some more lands. That's for certain. Pass back. Why did they shock themselves? They didn't do anything. Ledger Shredder. Okay, we can anoint that. Yep. All right. They are who we thought they were. Come on, land. I actually think we're supposed to play Rat King here. All right, cool. What is... I mean, I'm okay with them uh, if they want to trade here. So we got Toxic on them. If we draw a land, we can anoint with Affliction and play Pack Rat, which would be pretty hot. Otherwise, we anoint with Affliction and play Typhoid Rats. That's still pretty decent. Third path. Oh, okay. So this is the, uh, yeah, the Iconoclast deck. It's pretty good against us, to be honest. Yeah, Crippling Fear is going to be good. Crippling Fear is going to be real good. <clears throat> so I think Third Pass Iconoclast is actually the one we want to... Uh, eh, maybe not. I guess if we draw a land, we just obliterator. Well, let's attack first, see what they do, and then I think we're obliterating here, though. Block here, block here, or just block here, take three. Okay. Well, Obliterator will be real good if it survives. 
Oh, no. Do they have a counterspell for real? Oh, consider. Sure. I was like, what, what mana counterspell could they have? None. I, I don't think there is one in the Pioneer. All right. And next turn, we can play rat, uh, two rats. Or we can anoint with Affliction, finally, the third pass Iconoclast. They uh, can attack with Ledger Shredder. What could they have? Obliterating Bolt? Does that even hit black creatures? I don't think it does. But then they'd have to... They could cast enough spells where they just sacrifice a bunch of soldier tokens. That'd be... That'd be decent for them. We'll see. Galvanic iteration, okay. All right. Playland. Treasure Cruise times two. Yeah, it seems decent. Yeah, I think we're supposed to anoint with procession, the or anoint with affliction rather, the iconoclast. All right, attack. Are they going to block it all? No. All right. Make a pack rat. Yeah, that's fine. All right. They, they could have a uh, take an extra turn spell here, which would be pretty good. They could have a lot, right? They just drew six cards, so <laughs> they could have everything. I hope they don't have an extra turn. If they have an extra turn, they... Pr One, two, three, four, five... Oh, this is Phoenix. Look, there's Phoenixes. All right. I missed that. Not like we could do anything, though. They're just playing Third Path Iconoclast in their Phoenix deck. That's cool. <clears throat> well, they have to have at least three spells. That means we're taking nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, I think we're dead if they have three spells, which I'm sure they do. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, these Typhoid Rats just not very good in this matchup. Smite us, almighty smiter. <sighs> I 
Thirst, yep. Yeah, all right. Well, that's the game, I think, because they got three birds in the bin. We were close. So since they have Iconoclast, I think we're bringing Crippling Fear. Typhoid Rats is trash. Rancid Rats, also not great. Three more cards. Maybe something like that. We'll try that. We beat this matchup once. Can we do it again? We got to come back. Got to play a little catch up. I feel we can. I feel we can. All right. Alrighty. One land. That's a mulligan. All right, let's see what we got here. Kept a one lander. Hmm. So make disappear, ledger shredder, and fiery impulse are my three. I think ledger shredder. We gotta get lucky. Let's draw a land. Come on, one time for the one time. Can we get this pack rat down? Damn. They get to consider and opt and all that fun stuff. Oh, they didn't. What the heck? Why didn't they opt? I don't know. I'm not questioning it. They found another island. So they got my mate disappear, so our first spell is going to get countered. Doesn't matter, apparently. We kept a sketchy one, but... Still would have liked to draw some lands. There we go. Find a red source, guy. Consider. Don't consider. Uh, they're trying to keep it. I don't know why. I found the red source. All right, there's a swamp. There's a pack rat. Let's get encountered for sure. Well, they could fire the impulse it, I suppose. Makes sense. Need to do it now, or at least they need to do it before our turn. Because as soon as we play a land, yeah, there we go. And now they got make disappear for our other one. There's the consider. I guess this 
this, ma this game isn't over over. They, we do have a ley line in play. It's going to be pretty hard for them to <laughs> amass a board unless they get third path iconoclast. If we draw a land, do we play Karamonix, the Rat King? Ooh, are they are they birding us? No. Okay. Well, let's go for a pack rat. Let's see if they counter it. I think they should. Heck, that's how we won match one against this earlier in the video. Yeah. No. No. All right. Now we only know one of their four. It is an arc like Phoenix, though. They've got... All right, well, we'll pass. <laughs> Did they maybe discard the Arctic Phoenix? I don't know. Petty theft. Ugh, that's good. All right. Touche. And now they can... All right. Because you don't. All right, 15. Can we draw? Land. Hooray. Don't have a spell, Pierce, please. Thank you. This is risky, right? Because they could just have a bunch of spells next turn. But, got to do what we got to do. Well, Leon is very good against them, so. Oh, no. They just haul him? Haul her? One, two, three, four. Yeah, they can haul her. All right, come on, a little bit quicker. Oh, they activated the wrong one! <laughs> oh, shoot! That's hilarious. That happens to me all the time, so... Absolutely... Do not uh, feel sorry for them at all. What do we want to discard here? I guess Leyline. Right now... Yeah, ley line seems to be the. Make disappear. I mean, we play Cardamonix. Some protection for Lily. We'll get to... I can't believe that happened. It finally happened to not us. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Is this a bird? No. Holy. Oh, it's take an extra turn. Treasure cruise. Sure. All right. Land? Not quite. I think we're supposed to discard the Rat King.
I kind of want to just attack and not play the bird. I guess the burglar rat's pretty good, right? Yeah, the burglar rat's good because they only have two cards in hand. I'm kind of carving their hand apart. Another bird, okay. Need to draw land, then we can double spell. Tell you what, these rascals looked terrible. We have we've drawn it a bunch, but we have not been able to cast it. Uh, another uh, treasure cruise, or is this a extra turn spell? Treasure cruise. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Don't have it. Don't have two one mana spells, please. Okay. No. Third path. Okay, that's 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 fine. <laughs> Another ley line. We're going to discard Raska. <laughs> All right, do we want to anoint this? I guess so. All right, we'll attack. Down to 11. It'd be nice to be able to draw more than three lands every game, though. One thing they can do is attack here, if they do it the proper way. <laughs> okay, well, so much for that idea. Treasure cruise, another treasure cruise. Oh, my gosh. They have to have it here, right? You'd think they'd have to. They're both going at Liliana, I would assume, if if they do have double Phoenix here. If we draw a land, we can kill both of them, though, so. Oh, they don't have it? Why? Why do they shock? I'm so confused. Okay, there's our land. Let's just attack first, see if they want to act, react. I kind of don't want to uptick because our hand's very good. And if we can kill the, either of these arc light, why did they re why did they deal themselves two points of damage there? Okay, shredder, sure. It's not a non-creature spell, or what is it? Incident sorcerers. Okay, there's one incident sorcery. Going to Lily. Okay, so they're gonna. <laughs> so one of these birds is, uh, oh, do they have the. Oh, they're just casting an arc light phoenix. I mean, that's fine. They kill our lily, but yeah.
Lily down. Well, I guess let's see what's up with it. Ooh, nice one. We'll attack with the Rat King. Got him to two. Pass back. I got zero cards in hand. I got a... They can crack in with Hall. That's seven, eight. And we take game two. Holy smokes! So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Burglar Rat, pretty good in this matchup, I do believe. Yeah, I don't like Raska. I'm going to bring an Edict. A Gray Merchant. Run it like that. All right, game three against... Phoenix, we beat it earlier. Let's see if we can't do it again. We got double. We'll try. We'll keep it. It's kind of like a mulligan, but it's fine. <laughs> All right, they play island. Let's get some good draws here, deck. Come on. Ugh, it's the opposite. The opposite of what we wanted. All right, they're going to surveil. Iteration is what they put to exile. No bird. They have read it, so. Well, that's what we're doing. All right. Double make disappear Galvatic iteration. Hmm. I guess we just take the one creature and pass. All right. There goes the storm carved coasts. Well, let's see if they drew the removal spell. Pass back. All right. Here's the cons Galvatic generation into consider. That's that's cute. Yep. See what they do with this. I guess. One card on top. One card on top. Gross. All right. I anticipate this. Oh, okay. All right. We'll attack. 
Hopefully I don't have a removal spell. I did just top top on back to back considers, but yeah, I figured as much. It's okay. It means pack rat's still alive. <laughs> All right, Lava Glide. Spike Field, sure. That's pretty good. All right. We'll pass back. They're shocking. Shocking. Phoenix. Yep. All right, I think it is important to do this. That's a good one. Non token. Want to counter it? I think Pack Rat is more important than Kumonix or the Rat King here. They have to counter this. <laughs> yeah. Right, they have one card in hand. Well, two now, but one of it. One of them is make disappear. All right, no creature. That's good for us. All right, well, we're kind of Liliana. And unless they drew another counter spell, this is resolving. All right. Playing around to make disappear. All right, pass back. Still got our pack rat that we drew in our opening hand. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. And they scoop it up. They can't hang. They scooped up. Our last opponent scooped it up to Liliana, too. So we come back, baby. Come back. Lose the first game. Take the second to Mono Black Rats. <laughs> Stack sweet. <laughs> I don't know if the rats are what's good about it, but Liliana, <laughs> burglar rat's pretty good. Uh, Caro, uh, the rat king itself is very good. Um, of course, pack rat's insane. And the removal suite is very good, too. I'm loving it. I am loving it. All right. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for today, folks. This is mono black rats. Nothing fancy. The fa the most fancy thing I guess you could say is Phyrexian Obliterator. Uh, we went 3-0. We beat uh, two of the best decks. We went played two uh, Is It Phoenix decks and then one deck that I didn't think we were going to have a shot to, to beat, but we beat Lotus Field. It was pretty good. Let me know your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns in the comments section below. Uh, like the video, of course. If you made it this far, you might as well subscribe as well. If you want to support the content directly, head on over to patreon.com slash less Alex. Throw me some dollar bucks every month. You get some cool stuff out of it as well. Or head on over to twitch.tv slash less Alex, where I stream every weekday around 9 a.m. Central. Come hang out with me. We have a lot of fun, as you can see. <laughs> um, and uh, if you want to help support over there, though, you can 
give me some Bezos bucks. But thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate you all. This deck's sweet. I'm really stoked about this deck. Um, but yeah, until the next one, I will see you all on the Flippy Flop. Adios, guys. Have a good one.